It is possible that adoption of self-driving technologies may further influence the vehicle's design and result in extreme layouts. In today's video, we will find out Apple's new car has no steering wheel. According to Morgan Stanley Automotive Experts, the fully autonomous Apple car, which is expected to lack a steering wheel, may pose to be a significant rival to Tesla and other electric car manufacturers. Apple Insider obtained a copy of a letter to investors from Morgan Stanley Auto and Shared Mobility Analyst Adam Jones, who discussed the ramifications of Apple's entrance into the automobile industry. In particular, Jones pointed out how significant Apple's estimated $3.6 billion investment is. That's a lot of money to put into one vehicle plant, says Jones, who also points out that Apple seems to be making just a fraction of the investment made. Jones warned by stating that anyone looking for conventional automobile experience may want to reconsider their expectations. Don't hold your breath for steering wheels. According to an expert, users should not expect the Apple car to feature a steering wheel. According to some automotive experts at the globally renowned firm, Morgan Stanley, the completely autonomous and self-driving Apple car, which is expected to devoid of a steering wheel, may be a significant rival to Tesla and other electronic manufacturers. Apple joining the automobile industry with a car design that requires human involvement throughout the driving process is difficult to envision. According to Jones, based on our observations, an Apple vehicle with a steering wheel is analogous to an iPhone with physical buttons and an extension cable that is coiled and attached to a wall. If we're correct, this may have a significant impact on the investor appreciation timetable over the next several years. According to the expert, the Apple car is a significant competitor to the Elon Musk-headed enterprise. Tesla's electric vehicle, Jones believes that at some time today, EV's competitors must share the sandbox. Despite the fact that the established electric automaker may reveal dozens of new cars and will possess a major share of the electric vehicle industry before Apple makes its debut on the market. He further goes on to say that there may not be enough space at the top for every electric car company. Jones anticipates that the news about the Apple would spur interest in several special purpose acquisitions, firms, carve out or spin off activity among both new and existing participants in the market as a result of the announcement. According to Jones, 31% electric vehicle penetration by 2030 is still on the table, but he emphasized that his estimated amount does not take Apple's own automobile into consideration. According to Morgan Stanley's Katie Huberty, using current market share statistics to predict the EV market, people are likely to underestimate the scale of Apple's vehicle business in the future, which Katie has stated in her most recent research note. Despite the fact that the concept of voice-controlled autonomous car has made its way out of Cupertino. It hasn't, however, made its way out of Cupertino yet, as one look at Apple's website will demonstrate. Despite what you may have heard from Elon Musk or others, fully self-driving vehicles are still a long way off from reality. While Apple's efforts to build its own car may appear to have been put on hold for the time being, if not completely shelved, the company still has at least one finger in the automotive pie. And like many other Silicon Valley Valley Giants, the company is researching self-driving vehicles and is recently taking a step of enhancing the autonomy credentials by purchasing the research firm Drive.ai. Like many other automobile companies, what Apple does with most of its upcoming goods and ideas will have to wait and see what firm decides to do with its automotive aspirations. One thing does seem to be definite, however, whatever Apple ultimately brings to the automotive sector, you will almost certainly be able to operate it, in part by saying the words, hey Siri, to it. Huberty maintains her 164 price estimated or Apple over the next 12 months. A sum of the parts approach is used, with a six times enterprise value to sales multiple applied to Apple's product business and a 13.1x EV sales multiple applied to Apple's services company. This implies a goal enterprise value to sales multiple of 7.5 five times in 2022, as well as a target enterprise value of free cash flow multiple of 34 times in 2022. With Apple and many other firms working on autonomous vehicles, self-driving cars may soon become a reality. We'll see you soon in our next video. Be sure to let us know if you liked the video. Until then, take care and goodbye. Thanks for watching.